You know, I'm wondering, have you ever tried to do something and you just felt like it was a total waste of time? You put all of your effort in it. It was something that the Lord laid on your heart. Something that you believed the Lord wanted you to do. And yet, it seemed as though you were getting nowhere, or as I would phrase it sometimes, nowhere fast. Well, we have a little piece here that's called the unmoved rock. And there's a very important uh, moral in this story for us to learn from. Now, we don't know who the author was. The author is unknown. Well, maybe that's his name, author unknown. But you're going to find this to be very interesting. It goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a man who was sleeping at night in his cabin, when suddenly his room was filled with light, and the Savior appeared. The Lord told the man he had work for him to do, and he showed him a large rock in front of his cabin. The Lord explained that the man was to push against the rock with all of his might. Well, this the man did, day after day. For many years he toiled from sun up to sun down. His shoulders set squarely against the cold, massive surface of the unmoving rock, pushing with all of his might. Each night the man returned to his cabin, sore and worn out, feeling that his whole day had been spent in vain. Seeing that the man was showing signs of discouragement, Satan decided to enter the picture, placing thoughts into the man's mind such as, You have been pushing against that rock for a long time and it hasn't budged. Why kill yourself over this? Are you never going to move it? Thus giving the man the impression that the task was impossible and that he was a failure. These thoughts discouraged and disheartened the man even more. Why kill myself over this, he thought? I'll just put in my time giving just a minimum of effort and that will be good enough. And that he planned to do until one day he decided to make it a matter of prayer and take his troubled thoughts to the Lord. Lord, he said, I have labored long and hard in your service, putting all of my strength to do that which you have asked. Yet after all this time, I have not even budged that rock half a millimeter. What is wrong? Why am I failing? To this the Lord responded compassionately, My child, when long ago I asked you to serve me and you accepted, I told you that your task was to push against the rock with all of your strength, which you have done. Never once did I mention to you that I expected you to move it. Your task was to push. And now you come to me your strength spent thinking that you have failed. But is that really so? Look at yourself. Your arms are strong and muscled. Your backs sinewed and brown. Your hands are calloused from constant pressure. And your legs have become massive and hard. Through opposition you have grown much and your abilities now surpass that which you used to have. Yet you haven't moved the rock. But your calling was to be obedient, and to push, and to exercise your faith, and trust in my wisdom. And this you have done. I, my child, will now move the rock. And my friend, there is so much truth in this. Our dear Savior calls us to do a service for Him, and it's our responsibility to yield and do that which our Heavenly Father has laid on our heart to do on His behalf. The results are left to Him. We just are to be obedient and exercise that faith that the Lord has given us, as we're told about in James chapter 1. Thank you. I'm Mr. C. for PF Baptist Press in Elkton, Maryland.